All right, try to make a quick video here on troubleshooting uh, electrical on a 96 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. So, yesterday I was going to work. Jeep started running a week, losing power. Then my check gauges light come on. So, I made it home. And it's the next morning. Try to figure out what's going on. So let's see if it'll start and see what happens. This is a cold start. Okay, doesn't want to run very good. Notice the uh, volt gauge over there. Check gauges light just come on. Let's see if it'll start again. No voltage, and there's, and there's some. Running really rough. Doesn't want to stay running. I'm working the gas pedal to try to keep it running. So, still no voltage. So, that's kind of indicating to me the alternator's not working. Want to stay around there. Stay around there. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna pause out here and see if I can keep it running, and then I'll go to the next step I want to show you. Okay, it's barely running, so one thing you can check is a voltmeter. Check across your battery and see if you, what voltage you got. You should have around 13.5 with a good alternator or so. So one test you can do is take your uh, negative uh, cable off. And pretty nice little wrenches. Get those off of eBay or Amazon. So. If I pull this off and the engine dies, that tells me it's an alternator, regulator, or a fuse, or a bad ground. Let's we'll see what happens. Okay, she died. So, that tells me it's the alternator, regulator, circuit breaker, fuse, or a bad ground. So. I'm gonna tear that alternator out, it's right down there. Uh, first thing you gotta do is get the serpentine belt off and gotta loosen the tension on that. So right, right down here, let's see if I can get a shot. There's the idler tensioner right here, you gotta loosen this bolt. And that loosens the pulley there. And then up on top, right there, There and get my finger in there. Right there is the tensioner bolt, so you got to loosen that off to take the tension off the belt, and then you can get into where you're working. And I'll get that done and pause back in. Okay, so took the battery out. That's going to give me some more room. You want to disconnect it anyway when you're working on your car, any of the car for that matter. So got the serpentine loose. Those bolts I showed you were 15 millimeter head size. And then I just pulled the slack out of the serpentine belt off of the pulley so I don't have to reroute that when I put the new one in. I just kind of I pulled it off of the alternator, grabbed the other end, and just pulled just pulled the slack out of it and then tucked it up in there so everything stays all routed. And it won't be a pain to get back on so next i'm gonna undo all the cables down in there on the alternator and there's an upper mount bolt and i'm sure there's one down lower when i get to those i'll let you know and i'll take this alternator in get it checked out confirm that it's bad and then I think I've got another one on my shelf I'm going to put in if this one's bad. But 
If not, I'll buy a new one. All right, I'll pause back in in a second. Okay, I got it out. And just to let you guys know, we got a, the top bolt, 15 millimeter socket with none on the back. 15 millimeter socket for this bolt, and that was on the bottom. Uh, roll it over. You got the uh, nut here, which is 10 millimeter. And then one on the back side right around there that's 10 millimeter. These two nuts here are 7 millimeter. Pull them off and then you should be able to fish that right out. I'm trying to make this video quick because I don't like long videos when I watch them. So I'm trying to make them quick for you guys. So I'm kind of might miss a thing here or there. So I'll pause back in when I'm done. Okay, well, I'm in here. I got the alternator out. I'm gonna clean the grounds that are back kind of hard to get to but they're easy to get to without the alternator so they're right down by the motor mount just underneath the coil uh, right down there I'm gonna bring my camera down there so you can see it okay, I've already taken the nut off Okay, there's the stud about the center of your screen got the light on it and there's those two ring terminals there that are grounds kind of kind of dirty so I'm gonna clean that up and there's one more that goes on it uh, if I can get my hand out of there There's one other heavy cable that goes on there. It's right, right here. So that goes up on there. With those other two, so there's a total of three right there. So I got a little wire brush, some emery cloth clean that stud off and clean those ring terminals off make sure they're nice and clean then there's some more grounds right here I took the battery out in case you didn't notice but right here I'll take those off right there and clean those okay I'll get that done and pause back in okay I got the alternator put back on had it uh, checked it with O'Reilly's and they checked it out said it was good so what I did was clean the uh, all the negative positive clean the lugs on those and the ones back up in here a few down there that were by the motor mount underneath the coil those were kind of dirty so that could have been the culprit saved me $111 for an alternator so Hope this helps you guys out. If you like it, click the thumbs up button. If you don't, click the thumbs down button twice. Like and subscribe. And have a good one. Now one more thing I wanted to show you guys. I forgot real quick. I'm just going to show you the voltmeter. So it's reading up there. 13.5, 13.7 according to that. Jeep's running a lot smoother now. I just don't think it had 11 volts. It wasn't enough to run all the electronics that rely on the voltage sense for their functions. So, seems to be working now. All right, have a good one.